Hi, I'm Paul Wilson. I'm the creator of Swing Machine Golf and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I want to help you stop topping your three wood. So there's a lot of people out there that have that problem of topping their three wood when they go to play. So this is obviously going to cause a lot of problems because you got to think, when do you typically hit a three wood? Well, you typically hit a three wood to try and make up for a mistake or you're trying to get to a par five in two shots. Okay, so let's say you've teed off and you hit a bad, bad tee shot, maybe you hit a tree, okay, that's only 50 or 100 yards off the tee. Now you've still got over 200 yards to the green. So what do you do? You take out your three wood to try and hit it onto that green that's way out there. Okay, that's one scenario. The next scenario is on a par five, okay? You've hit a pretty good tee shot and you've got about 200 something out and now you're trying to hit a three wood as hard as you can to get it onto the green in two shots or very close to the green in two shots. Both of those situations have you trying to hit your three wood as hard as you can. So what happens when you try to hit the ball as, or your three wood as hard as you can is that your arms tighten when the golf club's coming down and through. So from right here, if your arms tighten, the muscles contract. If the muscles contract, they start to buckle. If the arms buckle, the grip on the golf club falls behind the club head. Okay, so they're in a situation where the grip is here. It's falling behind the club head. Now, typically, if you're trying to hit it as hard as you can with your arms, you're not using your body. So what also happens is you get stuck on this back foot when you try to hit your shot. So that too adds to the problem. So here's what happens. So if we're here like this and the grip, I'll just take the grip and move it behind the ball, or behind the club head. So if we move the grip behind the club head, this is what starts happening to our golf club. You can see that the sole of the golf club isn't even on the ground anymore. The club's coming in like this. Now if we couple that with hanging back on our back foot, now we've got an even worse problem. Now the club comes in like this, and you can see that there is no way that the leading edge of this golf club is going to get underneath the ball. So that is what causes the topped three wood shot. Okay, so ideally we need to be in a situation where we're letting our arms stretch out when we're hitting the ball. Okay, we need our arms stretching out fully after we've hit the shot. So that'll stop them obviously from buckling. So if their arms are stretching out, the grip is not going to fall behind the club head. Okay, we're not going to be in this situation, we're going to be here stretching them out. Also, we want to try and use our body to hit the golf ball. So we want to feel our weight shift to the back leg in the back swing and then our forward leg in the through swing. So if we can do those two things, here's what's going to happen. From right here, we're going to be coming in now with this angle, okay, like this, instead of like this. Okay, so when we start going this way, you can see the difference. So that is going to hit a top shot this is going to create a perfect shot with the proper launch angle, okay? So into the future, what I want you to do is be in a situation, or next time you find yourself in either one of those situations, okay? First thing we're going to be thinking of is we're going to swing easier, okay? We're going to swing around 50 to 80 percent, okay? Just by swinging easier, that'll stop the arms from being totally locked up and, and you trying to hit the golf ball as hard as you can. Remember, we need the club to stretch out, okay? If you buckle your arms, we're going to be in big trouble. So swing, uh, do some practice swings at about 50 to 80 percent. Next thing we want to try and do is feel our weight shifting when we're hitting these shots. Okay, so into the back swing, we feel our weight load into the back leg, and then we're going to unload to the forward leg. We're not going to be sitting here going like this and hanging back. See, right there, I just topped it, okay? So we don't want to be in this situation. We want to feel the weight load here and then end up on our forward leg after we've hit the shot. So you can do that in practice swings as well. So nice easy swings, feel the weight load, let the arms stretch out and feel the weight unload to this side. If you can do that, then we're in a situation where we end up hitting perfect three woods. Okay. If you can do that, then you're going to make up for your mistakes and you're going to be a lot closer to the green on par fives. 
Hopefully you understand it. Give those things a try the next time you out, you're out, out uh, playing and you'll see a huge difference. Make sure you ask your questions, post your comments below. I'll try to get to as many as I can.